Israel remains on high alert Sunday after the Islamic Republic of Iran launched an historic and unprecedented attack overnight, sending hundreds of missiles and suicide drones to strike Israeli targets. The IDF was able to successfully intercept 99 percent of the threats. Meanwhile, the cabinet convened to contemplate a potential response. Let's take a look at the report. Okay. Sirens blared throughout Israel overnight Saturday as the Islamic Republic of Iran launched hundreds of suicide drones and missiles at Israel, marking the first time it launched a direct attack against Israel from its soil. Simultaneous and coordinated assaults were also launched by Iran's terror proxies from the Houthis in Yemen and Hezbollah in Lebanon. From north to south and in Jerusalem, Israelis were sent running to bomb shelters as Israel's David Sling, Aero missile systems and aircraft intercepted the threats. Missiles were even intercepted over the Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem, the third holiest site in Islam. Despite the overwhelming nature of the attack, the IDF was able to successfully neutralize the threats together with an international coalition of allies including the U.S., U.K. and Jordan. Emma Shiran patcha b'mitkafa neged Israel v'shigra yoter mi-300 yomim misugim shonim. Ayum ha-Irani pagash et ha-elionut ha-avirit v'ha-technologit shel Tzal b'shilub koalitsiya lochemet chazaka sh'yachad yirtu et rubam ha-machriya shel ha-yomim. Iratnu 99% ma-yomim sh'shugru l-shetach medinat Israel. A young Bedouin girl was seriously wounded by shrapnel in the attack and remains in critical condition, while no casualties or serious damage to infrastructure was reported. U.S. President Joe Biden cut his weekend trip short to meet with his national security team and coordinate with Israel to defend against the Iranian threat. As such, Israel, the U.S., the U.K., Jordan and France all work together to intercept the aerial threats over Syria, Jordan, Iraq and Israel. There are also unconfirmed reports that Saudi Arabia intercepted some of the drones launched. The IDF said none of the drones or missiles entered Israeli airspace and only a small number of ballistic missiles made it into Israeli territory. Following the attack, Biden spoke with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu over the phone. According to a White House statement, Biden reaffirmed America's ironclad commitment to the security of Israel. Now all eyes are on Israel as it ponders a response to this major escalation by the Islamic Republic. Ahead of the attack, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu issued a direct statement to Tehran. This is what he had to say. <laughs> אנחנו נגן על עצמנו מול כל איום ונעשה זאת בקור רוח ובנחישות.